Inside of this beautiful forest lies a hidden and beautiful ranch resort in a faraway community in old eastern Nigeria called Wancho in Boki, local government of Cross River State, Nigeria. In my previous video, I showed you guys how I risked my life to visit this Dre Ranch at night inside of a very deep rainforest in Nigeria, in spite of the high insecurity in the country. I said, the road like this, you bought another village. But no go reach that village. No, it says I don't miss this thing with that. You don't miss road like far reach like this. This is 7 pm, it's like we've lost our way in the middle of nowhere. On getting to the ranch, I was greeted with surprises. First, I have to sleep alone inside of a cabin located inside of the thick forest. This is cabin. You open and go in. And, and I'm the only one staying here. Yes, now. Nice. <laughs> Still sleeping alone was not enough. Secondly, the cabin door had no locks. Very nice. This. Door has no lock. There are no locks in this door. And third, no telephone network, no food, no security, and the worst part, no light. Then also, I have to take a bath and an open bedroom and use a big toilet they called Echo Toilet. Hmm, amazing. And the juice of it all at night, I was greeted with different sounds in the forest. At some point, I believe I even heard footsteps inside the forest. Alright guys, so it's time to go to bed. And make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow morning. Well, finally, I woke up alive and fresh in the morning. Good morning, my neighbors! Well, in the second part of this video, I will show you guys why I risked my life to visit this place and how you too can visit and have an amazing experience. Only if you are an easy upable person like me. That means strong head. In Ibo language. Okay, so I woke up peacefully this morning and uh, I'm surrounded by this beautiful nature here. And this place is absolutely amazing. Slept very well. There are no winches, no wizard, no bad dreams, none like that. So you can come and visit. It's a lovely place. And uh, but if you watch a lot of Nigerian movies, we are uh, they do a lot of winches and wizard. I mean, that thought is going to be playing in your mind, and you can't come here, you can't sleep here in the night. Trust me. But if you have the light, you know what I'm saying, the light of God, you can come and have an absolutely blast here. Alright, so this place is totally amazing. I enjoyed myself. So now I'm going to take you guys. So this morning, well, so what we're doing this morning is I'm going to take you guys to see the drill monkeys. So you can see how the monkeys feed, how they live. And after that, I'm going to probably ask a little bit of questions to the people that manage here just interview them to find out how this place works and what they've been doing so far the challenges and after that we'll we'll probably call it a day okay all right but first this is my environment this is how it looks like this is how to live off grid in nigeria absolutely amazing all right but right now what i'm gonna do i'm absolutely hungry so i'm just gonna grab my indomie and then go and cook it. So this is my room. This is where I slept last night. This is how the whole place looks like. They even have a mirror over there. Okay. All right. So I'm hungry. So this morning, I'm gonna try to make me an indomie. 
and I came with milk and I got golden mo as well and biscuits hey biscuit here okay and then I got water all right so this is how I'm living off grid all right so that's all I brought to feed myself right here so we're doing this here is a mirror you can look at your face what are you gonna see <laughs> you see yourself nothing else all right so okay so that's it that's it and up the ceiling of the roof they use the ceiling here it's kind of very nice all right so let's go make the end of me and after that whew, we'll be back hello world wake me up to another good good morning time to go got that smile upon my face because there's excitement in the chase this i know welcome to the drill ranch in boki yeah i'm going for the ride if i must well as you guys know i actually shoot all of this video all by myself i don't have anyone that's assisting me i travel alone and do all of this shooting and documentary all by myself filming editing and all of that but maybe by the time the channel grows i'll be able to have someone i'll be able to pay someone to follow me around and shoot but for now i'm doing this all by myself and solo travel not bad you know not bad thank you father lord that you guide me today in all activities and grant me success and call the lines to fall unto me in different places as always in my pathway there is no death there's no evil i travel in free course in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you father for your angels have gone before me and have made the crooked path straight and today is a blessed day for me and always in jesus name amen Amen. It is time. Let the work begin. Right now, we are going uh, back to the common area where the animals are. So I can show you guys the animal. Look at the steps here. You can see how the steps look like. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh boy so you can see we are slept last night that place and the thing is the whole place is open that's the even the the most funny part is that so this is just net they use just net cover it so the whole place is open so throughout the night that i was sleeping it's an open place and like i even told you guys to make matter worse at sort of injury the doors doesn't have a lock so <laughs> it's absolutely open <laughs> so it's like you're just sleeping inside a bush you know totally open <laughs> okay so i'm going back to the common room so this area see how the bush looks like so what i'm gonna do right now is batteries are almost all dead I'm going to try to show you guys the bedroom in the toilet. Uh, I showed you guys that last night. Okay, if it's not on this video, uh, you can check out the other video. It's there. All right. So, this is a total rainforest. Very thick rainforest. You can see the smell of this place is something else. Okay, so, on the crossway. I think if you go right you're going somewhere else so i have to go left okay and then okay so here at my front this is where you have the bedroom this is where i took my bed last night okay so let me show you guys how the bedroom looks like oh the bedroom is totally open. These are just woods blocking the her place. But again, it's still open. All here is open, okay? And it's for both ladies and guys. So this is where everyone bit. So they have a shower system. I showed you guys last night. Uh, if not in this video, then in the other video. That's the shower up there. And then they have the, the sink. And there's also a bucket here. 
case you want to use buckets to bath the old school way fine if you don't want you can use a shower the new school way <laughs> and then the gomero here as well so you can take a look at yourself after showering hmm. how do you look mr handsome what's up so that's it okay and then the gotowers here to clean up after you're taking your your bed so that's how the bedroom looks like pretty awesome right jungle jungle bedroom <laughs> uh, but the good thing here like i showed you guys is once you want to take your bed you have to use this and then cross it over like this in this side so once someone sees that this is crossed they know somebody's in the bedroom and they will not have to come inside okay all right moreover nobody really comes here except those that work here so i mean no one is coming to come and look at you <laughs> So right now, I'm going with this uh, young man. So I think your name. What's your name? My name is Gabriel Buki. Gabriel Buki. The Chimskeeper. Whoa. The what? Chimskeeper. Chimskeeper. Okay. Yeah. So it's the chimps you're going to see now. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you can see how my surrounding is looking. And right there is the banana that we are going to use to feed the chimps. Okay. Let's go. The web is. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are trying our best. Mm. So you hear the sounds of the chimps? Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> you hearing that? Let's just check it out. Oh my god. Wow, they are rejoicing for food. Can someone go beyond this place? Okay. That's okay. I can't go beyond this. So do they have names? Yeah, all of them they don't have names. Alright. Oh. We give them names just for Isla identification. Identification, yeah, that's what I was thinking. So these are like the chimps or the drill? No, these are the chimps. These are the chimps. And they are apes. Chimps are apes, they're not monkeys. Because they uh. don't have tails. Oh, okay, that's different. They don't have tail. Mm. So, what's the difference between apes and gorilla? Gorilla is still apes. There are okay. five species of apes okay. gorilla, chimpanzee, bonobo, orangutan, and gibbon. Okay. So, these ones are also apes. They are also apes. Mm. But the five you mentioned, which species does it fall in? They fall in apes category. Oh, okay. The five of them. And they don't grow bigger than this. Uh, it depends on the um, country. Each. Okay, um, okay. Specific, depending yeah, on the species. species. Yeah. Oh, I see. Wow. The Nigerian Cameroon chimpanzee are not that big like okay. um, other chimpanzees. But there's one I saw on one video I saw, like the gorilla is a very big. Yeah, those are gorillas. Gorillas uh, are big. Very we big. also have mountain gorilla in the wild here. Yeah. But it's very hard for you to see them. So see them. It's only yeah. on camera traps that you can see them. Wow. Daisy! Why awesome. are you going with all that food? I invite you guys to come check this place out. It's really, really awesome. You can see the behaviors of the animals, the way they behave, just like you know, human beings, really. Okay, this one. Okay. My is Gabriel Agbabuki. I'm a dry ranch staff. I'm a team skipper. So I work in dry ranch for like nine years. Yeah. Can you tell us about the chimps? So for nine years, I have a friend of 
being a change keeper, which I know James a lot, okay. which I know James that if you keep James as a pet in the house, James know a lot about humans. James can have actually do a lot of things if you teach them. As you teach your children in the house, then you can actually teach them and they can do. And like for years I work with the team, the teams can sweep, the mm -hmm. teams can scrub, and the teams can go to the stream and drink water or to fish water if you normally teach the teams. Now if you go to my teams section now, you see some of the teams I do come from Nigeria, some of them are coming from Malabo in Equatorial Guinea, some of them are in forest, Cameroon, chimpanzee. So they are there with us. Some of them are still with people in the house, like the tech in Lagos. They can know how to go to the kitchen and give their food also. So they are being here donated to the project. Then chimpanzee now has their own swelling. In the chimpanzee, when they have their swelling, which they are in their own heat period, that is the time they complete with the male, which that time they got pregnant. And chimpanzee pregnant lasts for eight months, which they deliver. Then they nurse their baby for six to five years. Then the chimpanzee mother now will release the baby, the baby will become a free baby now. That is why you see chimpanzee are not much in Nigeria anymore because it takes a very long time for the baby of the mother of the chimpanzee to put to bed. That is why we are advising our fellow humans, our hunters, that they should allow this animal to stay because they are just like us. So you can't differentiate. A lot of things you can't even differentiate between chimpanzee and human because they do a lot what we do. Chimpanzee can open a star beer and drink. He can drink palm wine. Chimpanzee can use a machete and clay. Then why are we killing them? If you are just allow those animals to stay for our own good. See, a lot of people are coming to Cross River State in Nigeria to come and see chimpanzee in Buki Luku government because they haven't seen them before. We are keeping them for their help. Their children should come and see them and enjoy our fun. The forest is still new, virgin. Come here and enjoy yourself and have your fun. Thank you. Thank you very much. They've already gone inside. They've eaten around. So when they finish feeding them like this, oh, they all just move oh, and they go for, to forage for other stuff. This forest <laughs> enclosure is very big. Oh, they so they move around. Too. Exactly. Can we move to that side to see if we can? It's probably fine. And out. Because, you know, the milk, the, this animal follows the milk, the adult milk. Okay. So wherever the adult milk goes to, the entire group goes with them. Although right now, in this very section, there's kind of power tossing here. There's uh, no individual dominant smell now. Here, okay. Because the guys who are here are guys who jump from, who left their group and come here to contest for power. Oh. And so that is why the problem is. So everybody, like, and when, what happened is when the females are on swelling, okay. that is the time you have problems in the group. Okay. Every male will want to copulate. Mm. And now that there's no individual dominant male. Okay. So every males are competing. Yeah, when a yeah. female is on swelling, yeah. everybody wants to copulate with that particular female. female I see. So that's why there's a problem now. So they go inside. inside, inside. Sometimes they even at that back side they jump out. So let's see if we can walk the other way. Oh okay. So and then they jump out sometimes when like now, if not that we are in, almost like in the rainy season, mm. we used to be you know having difficulties in food. Wow. So now that they, they will be now fruiting season now, I mean fruiting fruit season. in the forest, forest now. So okay. some of them that the fruits are not here and they know where to go get them outside the enclosure. Really? They jump out and oh, then they, come and they jump back, back again. They come back in again. Oh, really? So when the male goes out, the females and the rest of the group members follow him and he knows mm -hmm. where to take them to. <laughs> so everybody follows that male and they come back. Oh, Except yeah. the male who is not feeling comfortable here. Okay. If he jumps out, he will, want, he will not want to come back. Mm. You understand? So he will just find his way. So we have issues like that, that means some males that are at large, mm. they never come back again. Some of them, when they see situation in the group and they find it difficult to contend with, mm. they go. They go hustle and muscle up for power and come back. When once they come Inside back, the same forest? Yes. When once they come back oh, into yeah. this group, they are coming straight to get power, to take power from whoever is leading, leading the group. <laughs> Where do they get this power from? <laughs> they go and, you know, see, light in the enclosure is different. With from uh, outside, outside enclosure. the enclosure. Yes. So they will, go and, they will go and do hustling, develop they their... That they will not see in the enclosure and eat. But when they go out, they eat. So all those things develop them. Mm. And, and you see their color, their body building changes. So and you can notice these things too. Well, plenty of times. Whoa. Plenty of times. So we with the French wire. Yeah, sure. So that is why we have issues like 
like you know, and when once this thing with the individual who has gone at large mm. comes back, the dominant male will notice it and it will be uncomfortable. Mm. So once he notices it, even if he throw any kind of food for him, he will not be he will not eat it. You now focusing on this man who has just come back. Uh -oh, and to fight knows the his man. intention. To fight the man. To come back and take over the group. So that is how they are. But the behaving like human too, beings. <laughs> yeah, but one thing about drills too, females have the final say. Mm. Without the female's decision, no males dominate the group. So oh. that's one thing about them. Okay. So the females have the final say. Okay. When they become full grown, the color looks more brighter. Oh, I see. The ones who dominate the group has a more beautiful color. On his tail. The rest of the male. On their tail. Yeah, on their buttock. On their buttocks. Uh, okay, so do this one do they do they have tail? They have short tail. Okay. So the difference between Drill or monkeys and uh, you know, monkeys chimps. Are of different, uh, chimp is an ape. Okay. So monkeys are of different different species. So okay. we have like the one you see in Cam. I don't know if you've seen any long tail monkeys. No. It's, it's a red ear going on. Okay. She lives, she lives in Cam with her baby. Oh. <laughs> that one has long tail. Most monkeys though have long tail, but this one is a short tail monkeys. And the thing is, one thing about them is, in it is only in area like this you can find this particular special monkey. Mm. You can't find them anywhere else. And in Nigeria, it's only in Cross River that you can find these special monkeys. You can't see them anywhere else. So, like, how many, how many of these monkeys do we still have left? In the wild? Yes. It's, well, in 19... Because I heard they are endangered species. So, like, yeah, how many of them are in left? 19, in 1989, okay. a, a survey was carried out. And it was discovered that there were only 4,000. 4,000 of them the left. And since then, we don't know. At least, we are estimating for them to be like 2,000 or less. Why? Why is that? Because a lot of, you know, poaching, poaching okay. you know, deforestation, mm -hmm. you know, so a lot of agricultural development, you know, which is be focusing in the uh, forest reserve. Okay. So it's affecting the animal population. So in our project here, we have, say, about more than 600 of this animal that has been born in captivity. You see, so the purpose of this project anyway is to protect the animal from going into extinction. That's the main purpose of this project. So like how long does it take for monkey to probably give birth to ah. replace the ones that have yeah, been pushed? It's not very easy like that because these animals, some of them, after putting to birth, some of them could not see their baby like more than a year. Some of them even... The pregnancy years. is like how long? The pregnancy right lasts for six months. So six months. Then they will not see their baby, some of them 12 to 13 months okay. or even more. Okay. You see? So it's not... For an individual female, in her lifetime, maybe she can give birth probably to maybe seven or eight children. Yeah, I'm coming. Um, just a few minutes, I'm with the visitor. Okay, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. So yeah, mm. so an individual female in her lifetime okay. can probably maybe have give birth to like seven or eight, eight, eight children. children yes. Whoa. So but in her lifetime, the lifetime is like how old? I'm only uh, for female for female drills. Female drills are more productive than the males. So they live like how long? Females can live in captivity, say 30, 32. In captivity, in, that is their lifespan. When you say captivity, in captivity the, now. Okay, in, like in enclosure, in like enclosure, this. Yeah, exactly. Okay, they can live in, like up to thirty. Thirty or years. Or even more. But males don't live that long. Oh. Yeah, males don't live that long. So they and will more, die. Hmm? They will die. Yeah, of course they die. Have you experienced die of natural causes? I don't know die of natural causes. You've experienced that here. Plenty times. Wow. Uh, plenty times. Wow. Animal die of natural causes. At at least old age. Sometimes they die of. Sometimes we have. Issues where tree, animals fell off the tree yeah, and yeah. died. And how do you how do you really tell the one that is old and the one that is strong? You will see it by the appearance. Or is it by the way they by fight? The behavior. <laughs> you, you see everything. You see you when you see a young drill and a, an old drill, you will be able to see. Whoa. There will be a very big difference. Big big one. When I was growing up, I saw monkeys, but I'm not sure they are drills because no, no. their tails yeah. are long. No, this but, very monkey yeah. I'm only seen in Cross River, Cross River. and in Cameroon and in Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea. Those are the only. And in Cross River, it is like in Boki here and um, Etun, uh, probably and Akamba, because mm. these are places you still have tropical rainforest, and they are tropical rainforest monkeys. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. But can I ask you one more thing? What kind of challenges are you people now facing here? 
Are you still getting funding? Is it still going? Or do you have an idea? Or is it managers that have? Plenty challenges. Okay. Number one, on the animal aspect, the, 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 they're supposed to be released into the wild. But oh, that really? cannot happen because there's a lot of poaching. Oh, so it's still going on. So yes, that's why it's also very expensive to take care of these animals in terms of feeding and also paying staff salaries. Of course, I mean, we are only generous, but we are only grateful to our donors who uh, have been helping us okay. to pay staff salaries, buy animal food. It costs a lot of money to feed over 600 animals every day. So the total animals you have here is over 600? Over 600. And that includes... Minus chimps. Minus chimps? Min minus minus chimps. Yeah, minus chimpanzees. Over 600? Yes. Oh my so God. So we have... I mean, it costs a lot to wow. maintain this place. Aside that, maintaining um, our equipment, the mm. vehicle, okay. doing, uh, doing animal, you know, having an, a good place to keep animal food and things like that. So, I mean, it costs a lot. We have challenges. There are challenges, yeah. Wow. There challenges. Okay. So, but the... But you guys are like probably getting new donors coming in to probably assist. Well, you don't know. My dancer is in the US. Okay. He's the one who is up, always up pushing. To okay. He, he arranges for fundraising okay. and so on and so forth. Yeah. Okay. Okay, awesome. Uh, it's my first time coming here and one of when I saw it, I thought I was doing I was doing a research on animal poaching. That's when I now discovered that here even exists here. Yeah, so so I'm actually doing a documentary like to share okay. about how this poaching is really affecting, you know, yeah, why. You know, like if you yeah, stay so. here, like you, I mean, you only stay here one night. If you say you stay here like a week, you will see the real picture. You see the true picture. Whoa. But you hear a lot of gunshots oh, around in, the forest in, itself. In, in, you a lot of gunshots 20, 30 times yeah. in a night. So it's just now that people are going into farm because mm -hmm. the rainy season has just begun so people okay. just go into farm to start you know putting things in the ground okay. otherwise when, once the farming season is it's done, over so they go back to hunting yeah, exactly. so, so his money is hunting as the when you were coming in you saw a lot of wood wood on the road yeah so I saw that. Of it, you see without wow. the forest these animals can never survive wow. so there's a lot of it and if you go to maybe like you come or that area yes you see people wildlife trade you see illegal wildlife trade, people carrying all this bush meat that mm. has been roasted. You mm. understand? So things like that is still huge. It's just uh -huh. that the government of the day is not doing anything. It's not pushing the policy. We cannot there's a policy. The policy is mm. there, but they are but not, not pushing they it. They are not implementing yeah. it. They are not implementing Same it. Same Nigerian so story everywhere. Yeah. The Lord, the yeah. same people so it's not working. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. So we just seen the drill. These are the drills. Like uh my good friend, I have explained uh, those drills are really endangered animals, and so this is why we are actually also advocating that you know wildlife poaching and uh, deforest and uh, logging is actually affecting these animals, and it would really be good if the government can really create jobs for people around here so they can actually, you know, not be involved or get involved in this hunting and other businesses that actually endangers the life of this animal all right so this is what it is and uh if you haven't been to the ranch before this is like the most loveliest place to actually visit so i would encourage you to come and check out this place the drill ranch it's right here in there what's the name of this community again guancho okay it's in guancho in Boki local government i'm probably going to put the direction how you can find your way here in case you're interested to come it's a lovely place you really enjoy the place people are very hospital and uh, i've really had a good night here and it was one of my best times actually so I encourage you to come check it out and let me know if you have any further questions inquiries please let me know and if you're out there you're a donor agency you want to probably uh, participate in supporting this work i'm sure you can reach out to them they have your website i also put out their number so you can also reach out to them there's one man on reserve shop but we are managing mm. it we okay. are there uh, WCS, that's Wildlife Conservation Society. Mm. Are the one managing this uh, Happy Mountain Wildlife Sanctuary? Okay. Mm. Okay. So this is this, this the Happy Mountains. This yeah. mountain, look that's at the mountain. That's the Happy so, Mountain. Yeah. Oh. So people go like those white guys. They, they, they go, go hiking, hiking there. Yesterday. Okay. So a lot of people come and go up hiking. Hiking. I picked that. We took them. This one is small with the sea, so yeah. Yeah, very small. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, very small. Oh. Go on the other side. Uh, mm -hmm. so you, so you hear a big rock. Uh, 
So we will hike. Yeah, so we will hike up to up there. There's one guy that comes from Abuja every year, two times a year. Okay. Foreigner. Oh, now nah, you want your bad guy. Very okay. Nice guy. Mm. He stays there like five days with Peter. Up and there. Come, yes. He's, they go sleep there now. Is there a place to sleep? Bah. You carry sleeping tents. Oh my but God. Camp for Kelly's camp, but that one day down down. Uh, if you want to see more. Okay. Go further. Go further. Peter knows other place. Ooh. Won't you run into a problem with uh, with uh, villagers? Uh, village, nobody there now. <laughs> Peter, no, there's one Igbo guy who is married to uh, the Polish, you know, Austrian guy. They stayed there like I think a week. Uh, up there with Peter. Oh. Ask Peter. Oh. It's fun though. It's the best time here. You come here like dry season, chai. Mm. Yeah. Uh, for this book around something. Yes. Yes. This, yeah. this place we used to have full camp. Oh. Even from foreign embassies. We just all of these are six cabins filled cool. up. You say total number of cabins you have here is six. six. Mm. Source of in country funding is just small donations okay. and visitor accommodation fees. But accommodation fees cover on a good year, we may get half a million naira in accommodation. Mm. Well, that's mm -hmm. like a total number of how many visitors you really get in a year. Five thousand in a year? No, not overnight visitors, but oh, okay. daytime daytime visitors. Yeah, oh, we're okay. around ten to twelve thousand visitors a year. Okay, so daytime visitors also pay when they come. No, free of charge. Okay, it's just overnight visitors have to that pay. pay for the accommodation. But okay. we we don't believe that anybody should be denied the opportunity to come and see the animals and experience yeah. just because they can't afford the gate fees. So the children come here for excursions as yep. well? That's the, okay, that's, lovely. that's the highest or the largest group of group visitors are, are nursery, primary, mm. secondary school Schools, okay. excursions. Okay, that's lovely. So but are visitors really still coming? Overnight visitors, are they still showing up? Not as, as much as, as before. As before. Oh. Right, since Boko Haram started. Yeah, yeah. It's a and we used to have a lot of diplomats coming. Um, company guys I mean the guys are here mm, yeah. they can come because they're the managing directors of yeah, the company but yeah. usually usually visitors here that come from Lagos Abuja have to come with the police detail yeah. they come with yeah. get all sorts of clearances and it's just not yeah. worth the effort for yeah. them yeah. 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 so no and visitor yeah the common 500,000 naira maximum that's for a year and that's yeah. not much money so uh, we don't have any state government support okay. at the moment. At the moment, okay. Um, in the past, we've gotten the tourist cabins were paid for by Donald Duke administration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. The see, yeah, were paid for by Donald Duke's administration. I know he's a big supporter of uh, tourism, so yeah, I understand. Under Leo Lamoke, we were getting a monthly subvention of a few, few million that around a month. Okay. And there's none of that anymore. Not anymore. Okay. Um, we get some material donations from some of these companies, mm. but again. I know you're focusing more on the animals, not mm. on the tourism part of it. Yeah, but I also think you are not really pushing promotion here. Right? I'm not all that interested in promoting tourism here. Yeah, you know. well, of course, well, anyone that's coming for tourism will definitely see the animals, and then they will understand why you're preserving the animals and why it's important that we push the message of stopping mm. poaching and not poaching. And, and logging, so because I mean, if the people get the message, then that, that will help. So I think it's a win-win if we can promote the tourism. So by coming, definitely you see the animals and understand the importance of you know preserving the animal the conservation that you're doing. So anyway, so that's part of what I want to do. This is why when I saw it, I was really interested to come. How did you find it? Oh, so I was actually doing a research on uh, animal poaching. Mm -hmm. so I wanted to do a documentary on that. So I went to, there's a place that normally kill animal a lot in Lagos. So why researching on you that? The market? No, I haven't gone there. I'm planning to go there. So why researching on that? Then I now saw a documentary that was done by, I think, Arise Layla. News. Layla? Uh, I think Layla won't fail. Yeah, Arise News. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I saw it then I said, okay, awesome. So since uh, my holiday was coming up, I said, okay, I'll visit and then I'll check it. I've been to Budu several times. I've documented it, but I didn't know he existed. So I think uh, it would be a good thing to really you know, push them.
a lot of people want to come. I mean, Nigerians, I mean, not necessarily the diplomats, the white. I mean, Nigerians that would like to come experience and see this. It's my first time seeing drills. I haven't seen drills before. So They're so, fascinating. Yeah, so it's fascinating. So I think most people will be interested to also see that. So, so it will be good. So I mean, if, if you push the tourists in, and I mean, if that if you can bring in from 500 to 5 million, I mean, that's... 5 that, million? Yeah, at least. You're not going to be bringing in 5 million. Look at the infrastructure in this company. People aren't going to be flying from Lagos <laughs> to Lagos <laughs> 5 million people. Well, you never know. You, no, you, million, no. you never know. Things can actually change. I mean, if you have here filled up every weekend, then you can actually build more cabins. Mm -hmm. You can build more cabins. And if you build more cabins, and then, I mean, even the walkway, I heard there's a walk, there's a canopy walkway, but I heard it's no longer working. But if you start having more people here, then, I mean, that's kind that's of... That's not us, that's the state government. Yeah, the state government can fix it. Yeah, do they want to? <laughs> <laughs> It's true, it's true. But anyway, let's, let's just hope for the best, being positive. So. Yeah. But hopefully, my, my plan is, hopefully my little effort will also help uh, you know, yeah, well, push the you. news, push yeah. the news so more people can see that's, that's my plan. All right, so His Excellency President Lucia Gabasanjo was actually in this drain ranch uh, some time ago, and uh, he was very, very impressed. And right here, you can see this writing. I'm very pleased to be here. I am impressed with the dedication. So that's how it should be. A president should go and promote things like this. And hopefully this president and their ministers and other ones will probably pick more interest in tourism, animal preservation and conservation as well. And visit places like this. So here I should have seen the Minister of Tourism, but as you can see, we have to be found. Okay, so that is what you have here. And this is pretty awesome. In case if you intend to come to this place, uh, you have to actually get uh, you have to actually get to Obudu or to Ecom, whichever route you decide to go. When you get to Obudu from Obudu, then you can take uh, another public transport that will take you to Ola. It's called Ola, uh, but I think it's spelled W U L A. So, but they call it Ola. So when you get to Ola. Then from there, you can actually pick a bike that will not bring you to the drill ranch. So you just tell them that you're coming to the drill ranch and then they'll bring you down here. So the bike from the Ola Junction to this drill ranch should be like 1,500, 2,000 Naira. And then um, probably, what depending on the route, the direction you're following to Budu, so put that together that you know how much that costs you. Then for the rooms here, uh, the room that I stayed in, I paid 8,000 Naira, uh, 8,250 Naira. I already showed you guys the toilet, so the kind of toilet they use here. It's kind of a pit toilet, but they just put a bench on it and put uh, something on top. So if you're staying here, that's the toilet you're going to be using. And then for the bedroom, I showed you guys the bedroom. The bedroom also has a shower system, or you can use your bucket and just bed if you want. And then for the food, this is where we are standing right now. This is the open area. Yeah, you, know, you can cook your own food. So you must have to come with your own food. You have to come with your own food. You have to prepare yourself. But there are utensils here. So you can actually use your utensils, the pots, and just to cook here. So you can cook here, but you have to bring your own food. So that's the thing. Now, beside that as well, if you want to come in here as a group and do your own, set up your own tent and, and sleep, you can also do that. So you don't have to pay that 8,000. I think the money, I can't remember how much it is, but you still have to pay, but not 8,000 Naira. So you can set up your own stuff. And in that case, you know, you handle all your own issues, so you don't have to use their stuff. So that's how it is. So here, uh, there are no electricity in the night. So if you're coming here, be sure there's no electricity for you so that's you have to be sh you have to know for coming so so this place is powered by solar the electricity here i think runs from 10 to 4 within that period depending on the, the amount of uh, sun they have here to charge up their system you can have light that time but uh the light this area where we are, the, they still leave the light on to 10. After then, uh, the light goes off. But in your room, there are no lights actually in your room. So that's why you have to come with your your, your own touch light. So let me just show you. So 
Okay, so you make sure you come with your touch light, like, okay, so it's important you come with your touch light, so I came with mine, and uh, that's it, so that if you don't want to come with this, come with touch, whatever it is, so that you're able to see your way around. Just a quick advice, uh, if you're using the touch light, I will advise that you don't actually own the touch light for long in your room. Uh, this is because to avoid attracting insight as well as attracting other attentions to yourself because if everywhere else is dark and just your place is there's light you know that how it is you might actually attract attention but of course here is very safe uh, nothing's gonna happen to you but uh, just my own advice so for me I actually did not even use my touch light so what I did was just to use my watch uh, throughout uh, you know to read study and do everything I have to do under that so that's how it is and um, like i already told you guys so if you want to come here uh, you already know the direction so once you stop over in uh, ula then from there you can get a bike that will bring you down here so it's a lovely place you can see the animals you can sleep over here and you can have time to meditate and things so i invite you guys to come check this place out it's a lovely place and if you check it out please uh, do let me know and if you have already checked it out also do let me know and if you're coming to go and check it out, also do let me know. <laughs> if you like this content, uh, check out this other content here as well. Okay. And then this is a full series. We are covering the eastern part of Nigeria. So check out other content that will also be dropping. And I'll see you guys on the very next one. Okay. Hello world, wake me up to another good, good morning time to go. That smile upon my face Cause there's excitement in the chase This I know